world champion and now um, coach Joel Adams. Uh, you're you're helping out your guys. Uh, really cool to see you kind of uh, dig into guys like Henry Riley and and you coach them up in the freestyle round here. Yeah, it's it's so it's so fun. You know, when I get to coach kids that that listen to me and you know the things that I say to them, they they they, they take it to heart and you know. So just to make an impact in these kids' lives and, you know, make them feel better with me being in the corner, it, it makes me just as happy as them. That's true. Does it help you relax a little bit getting out here beforehand, it, before you wrestle, and, and just kind of getting a feel of everything here? It's definitely, it's, it's definitely new because when I came here for the first time two years ago, I didn't get this little little break, this little vacation. <laughs> but, you know, it's it's fun. You know, like, I'm kind of using this tournament as a, a good – a good warm up to get some simulation matches for Worlds. So you know, my mindset walking a tournament is just have fun, but you know, also take it seriously because I do want to win. But you know, have fun and, and feel good and and you know, do everything professionally so that you know I can get a good warm up in before Worlds and you know, have this little break. You know, I'm I'm kind of on my own schedule. I get to you know take a break, relax. I can coach a little bit when I want, and I also get to work out on my own time. It's it's nice. It's refreshing. Yeah, sure. Uh, so for those that don't know, you are only participating in the Greco here and uh, Greco, I guess, tournament uh, here in Fargo. And uh, looking forward to the future. You, you brought up worlds and all that. It, but this tournament alone, you said you want to use it as a warm up, but you definitely want to win it, right? Yeah. Oh, 100%. <laughs> I want to win. I, I want to win every tournament I'm at. But, um, you know, at first, I, I'm going to be honest, I didn't want to come here. But, you know, my, my coaches persuaded me. They said it'll be good to get some simulation matches, kind of get back into the composition competition mindset, football worlds, and, you know, it'll help you get your way down a little bit too. So I was like, yes, yeah, you're right. <laughs> so, you know, so I, I kind of flipped my mindset really quick. I was like, okay, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to dive into this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go win. What's the next year look like for Joe Adams? Gap year, um, going to Paris, 2024 Olympics. That's the plan. And, you know, for the most part, um, I plan to be training, you know, back at Omaha and, and also at the Olympic Training Center when I can. And hopefully I have a few opportunities to go overseas as well and go to a few different countries. Um, I really want to go check out Serbia, Japan, and Iran. I just kind of work out there. Is yeah. That yeah, I just train. Just train. Hit, hit a few overseas tournaments if I can. But, you know, we'll see where that takes us. But, you know, mark my words, I'll be ready at Olympic trials in April 2024. We're going to Paris, right? Yeah, if he if Joe Adam makes it, we're going. We're taking Mike Chuck to Paris. All right, sounds good. Hey, I do have a question though. Okay, are you gonna try to get a brick challenge win by the end of the day? So far, my guys haven't put themselves in positions for me to throw the brick. But at the end of the day, if it comes down to it, I will come out on top. I will be on top. <laughs> hey, Henry, breathe deep breath. Hey, Leglish, hey. Leglish, hey. Leglish. Hey. hey, deep breath, deep breath. <laughs> All right, man. Always great talking with you. Appreciate it. Yeah, good luck. Always. A Heard at Sports Network production.